Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and today I am going to tell you how to create custom widgets in ClickSense. So first of all, let me show you an example of a widget. That's my ClickSense desktop and here you can see it's a widget. So I'll just delete this off and when I click on custom objects, we have a widgets. So along with extensions, there is, another, there is one more section called widgets and we can simply drag and drop this widgets and customize it. And as you can see, this widget has got inbuilt properties, associated properties. And when I pass a property, pass in, uh, I give an input and press enter it, whatever value I enter, same value will pass over. here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate you how to create this test widget. In order to create this test widget, First of all, we need to switch to Dev Hubs and for open Dev Hubs, click on three dots on your ClickSense desktop option and you will be getting Dev Hub interface. When you click on Dev Hub interface, it will take you to Dev Hub interface. In Dev Hub interface, you will be getting following sections, all mashups, visualization extensions and widget editor. So I click on widget editor and uh, here in widget editor we can create a widget editor or if you want to list the widgets so we click on widget libraries so let me delete this widget once that was the existing one and i'll create a new widget again so to create widgets i click on widget libraries create new widget library so i click on plus sign to create a new widget library and i give a name as bisp test widget we can add a description if it is required and click on create. So as soon as we create a widget, it opens an interface and this interface has got a couple of sections like HTML here. We can add our HTML code. We can add style sheets if it is required or we can use inline style as well. We can also, uh, we can preview the data. We can preview the result how it looks like, uh, how the widget looks like. And if you want to add some properties, we can display all the properties and add some more components into that widget. So first of all, let's create a widget. So I'll simple type of widget named as hello world. That's a simple text. And in order to text it, there's an option called preview. I click on preview. When I try to click on preview, it's not creating, it's not displaying a preview. It's saying that a preview is only available when you selected an app. So I select sample app. So I click on sample app and preview is available along with the properties. So we can add some title, test widget. You can see a title is added. We can add subtitle and a footnote or we can show or hide the titles. So I'll just remove this title right now. Now, if you add some HTML scripts, so I write H1 and I just paste it within this. So it's, it's appears in bold colors. Like in HTML, we can add some properties into it. So I add a style, I add a I had a style tag here style is equal to color Z you can see it appears in red color or if I said green it appears in green color or blue so it appears in blue color and by default we can go for black color as well so I'm going to work on two things. First of all, we will be going to change this style. I will be going to change the color property dynamically as well as the text. So instead of hello word, I simply give hello and whatever name we entered. So I would like to create, I would like to get input from the user and whatever we text, whatever we enter text, that text will be passed over here. So in order to do that, we click on this edit mode and in edit mode, click on headers so we can hide these sections first of all and I drag and drop headers. so this is will be this 
will open settings for us and I expand the settings and I want an input box. So I drag and drop input field from the user. So that input field name is property one. We can label it. So I'll say uh, enter name and done. So enter name. So whatever user enter name, that name we want to show here. So as first of all, I just click on done in order to get the input. So if I press enter and press enter, result is not showing because we need to insert this property name over here. And in order to do that, I place my cursor here, click on insert. So we can add some third party components which are added by some other users like show measures and values or tab views or switch or buttons for warning success and error. We have some we can insert some uh, <clears throat> icons or we have some property references. So for property references, I'll go for setting. So we have two property references all journal and setting. So I'll go for setting and in certain in setting there is a property one. So I click on select property reference and click on insert with curly braces. So that's the complete code. Hello settings dot property. And and as you can see as soon as I press after submitting my name when I press enter it's giving me it's displaying my name. I'll write BISP. You can see the preview the result is changed. So this is one thing. Next thing we want to change the color dynamically. So before moving on to that before before checking that uh, before adding or before me applying changes in colors dynamically. First of all, let's test it on our click sense app. So I just save it. I'll give this name as test widget and widget type as others click on save so now let's test it so i'll switch to click sense open app sample app any app you can open it's not necessary that it should be linked associated with sample app click on the sheet and you can see my name is coming actually so because i've already mentioned the name so I'll just change the name as BISP and it gives me I'll just test it named as hello BISP and if I change my name it will and as soon as I press enter it gives my name. Now my next requirement is to I want to add one drop down list which allows me to change the color of the given text. It's a custom widget so we can again switch back to dev hubs and here we are going to add one new custom components here which would be which will help us in within settings which will help us to select the colors of the input given text so i click on edit expand settings drag and drop drop down list within settings so i select the values or we'll need to switch to property box. So I click on here and say property. So this is property two. And now we need to add some values. So there are no default values. I add one, two, three, four values. First value I set as red. Label as red. Green. Green. Blue blue and let's say black black and any default value so default value as set as black and click on so that's the code setting dot property root that's the code for inserting anyway i click on done and you can see a given option uh, we have an option for selection so we can change the selections red green blue i click on save and if we preview this save in uh, click sense so i'll just refresh it just to add that property as well just to reflect the changes we have made I'll select the control settings and we have property so red but it is not changing the color because it is not binded right now. So we need to manually we need to bind it and for binding we again switch back to dev hubs 
and instead of settings color dot black it's a static color instead of this i click on insert and property settings property 2 the default value is black select property 2 and insert with curly bracket settings dot property 2 we can test it and in order to test it let me save it first and uh, <coughs> by default is black so it's a green So as you can see here, it's not working right now, even though I'm, when I'm changing the values, it's not showing. And same thing happens here as well, even though when I'm changing, it's not working. Because we didn't, we did a mistake and we forgot to add the property. So color settings dot property. Now let's try and let me test it once again. So you can see it's working now. And uh, when I made a selection, it's changing the colors and the default we set as black. So I'll just edit this and I'll just set the default value we set this set as black. I'll just save it and let's refresh on our ClickSense. In ClickSense desktop, when I refresh it, whatever input we enter and when we select the properties and select the colors, so I just select the color and you can see it's changing the value, it's changing the colors. So based on the selection we select in the drop down, the color is changing, the text color is changing. We can select, we can change the font as well. We can change the style as well. So that's how we can create custom widgets in ClickSense. We can have some more examples on widget, which we are going to cover up in next upcoming videos, where we'll be going to see how to create custom bar widget for ClickSense. That's all in this video. If you have some queries, you can visit our website www.bspsolutions.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel or you can contact us for customized training on ClickSense as well as for consulting services. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.